Today could bring more tension in the trial of mobster James Whitey Bulger. His ex-partner Steve, the rifleman Flemmy, returns to the witness stand. Meanwhile, another man who wanted to testify against Bulger has been found dead in a wooded area. CBS News analyst Ricky Kleeman is outside the courthouse in Boston. Good morning. Good morning, so, Charlie and Nora. Let's go first to the person who was found dead. Mr. Rakes, what is it behind this story that we ought to know? Well, Stephen Rakes was found dead on a road where he may have been walking or he may have been moved to. What we know is that there was no trauma to the body. However, this is not an area in which he lives. The circumstances of his disappearing are clearly suspicious. What we also learned from uh, the Boston Globe today is certainly the fact that what we are hearing is that this Mr. Rakes may have just been prevented from testifying. One other fact, Charlie and Nora, that I think is important is that Rakes would have testified contrary to Kevin Weeks. And Kevin Weeks is one of the accomplices who's testified in this case. But Ricky, Rakes was this former liquor store owner, right? Correct. Rakes was a liquor store owner who he says was extorted at gunpoint by Bulger, Weeks, and Flemmy. And what Weeks testified to was simply that, oh, no, 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 Rakes wanted to sell this to us. You have to remember, Rakes has waited decades to testify against Whitey Bulger, and he now does not get his chance, and then suddenly he's dead. I, I mean, this, it can't get any stranger. I mean, and then, and then, Ricky, you say today in court may be the climax. Or uh, fireworks might be expected here today. What, what are they? I think that this day is the day in the trial, except for the fact of Whitey Bulger if he does testify. Stevie Flemmy hit the witness stand yesterday. He was barely on 10 minutes, and what he did in those 10 minutes was bury Whitey Bulger. He said that Bulger was an informant. He said that they had killed at least 10 people that Stevie admits to. Stevie says that Bulger himself was informing over 100 times to corrupt special agent John Conley described as forceful, overbearing, mm. more forceful and overbearing than I, says Stevie Fleming. Ricky, and Stevie Fleming hates him. Okay, but, but let me go back to everybody wanting to know whether Bulger was going to testify or not. I thought you had said at this table that he would, it would be irresistible for him to want to be in that uh, spotlight. Well, I think that it is irresistible for him. If I'm his lawyer, I tell him I don't want him to testify. If I'm Whitey Bulger, I do want to testify. Yeah. And especially now that Stevie has testified. One more thing that's important, Charlie and Nora, about yesterday is this strange stare down that took place after the jury exited. And you've got Flemmy staring down with dagger eyes at Bulger, gets out an expletive. He says, mother, expletive. Whitey mumbles something under his breath, and then what happens is Stevie looks back at him and says, oh, really? So you can tell that today, when Flemmy is going to detail every single homicide, including the strangling of those two women, that Whitey Bulger could be provoked by Flemmy, and that's exactly what Flemmy wants to do. Wow. Ricky, thank you.